Hello everybody, this is Roxy, and I have a really awesome vintage haul from a cool garage sale that we stumbled upon yesterday. So, this was, it looked really small, like there was not much, but once you got in there, it's like it was, they had like a whole workbench in the garage full of cool old tools. They had three American flags that had 48 stars. And they just gave them to us. He was going to burn them. Like, that's what you're supposed to do. You know, when you're getting rid of flags. Um, not in effigy. But, um, so we're like, well, yeah, we'll just take them and give them away or whatever. Sell them. So, um, I, they had a lot of stuff like boxes on tables free. Like, I got these free. So I thought these would be cute for like either hanging off a little mini, a recipe one, probably more that, or using for glitter, not glitter, but sequins. So I thought that was really adorable. Look at how cute they are. I mean, these are really, really old. They've got to be from the 40s or 50s, seriously. They're so old. And a lot of this stuff was from, like a lot of the books were from the 40s and 70s, like these two gorgeous poem books are from one's a poem book one's a you know they got like people like Barbara Streisand or Barbara Walters all these different people talking about women but the artwork is incredible I think this is from 70 they're Hallmark books look at that that's when Art Deco was hot a revival of Art Deco, 72. But the faux, the illustrations are just gorgeous. So I'll just try to get... And it's really corny to read this stuff because it's, it's like, you know, women were like just trying to make it as a real person, not just as a chief cook and bottle washer and baby maker. <laughs> Isn't that cool? Ugh. Yeah, so girls these days, they don't know how far they came because of us old ones. I like Helen Hayes. That's cool. It's awesome artwork. The next one has gorgeous artwork too. Isn't that cool? I love Art Deco. My favorite artist was Tamara D. Limpica. She pretty much created Art Deco. She was a painter. Got a few of her prints. So that's that. And then this was really cute. Really pretty. Pretty watercolors. And they don't smell. I've mentioned before with my allergies, I can smell a musty, moldy thing a mile away. And these do not smell, which is ironic. Because when we were at checkout, we found out from the lady doing it that it was a hoarder house. Her niece married the, guy, the, the dad's son. And the son died when he was 43 a few years ago. Well, the niece kept in touch with the dad. And he had remarried... And unfortunately, his, his new wife was a hoarder. And um, then she committed suicide last year. So the niece helped him get into a, like an assisted living. And this woman, the niece's aunt, and her uncle bought the house and are redoing it. She said, we've already gotten rid of like three dumpsters full of junk. And when I saw, heard that, I thought, Ew, what have I been touching? But um, I think this stuff is okay. Now this is a shorthand book. And I actually, in, what's that? I actually found a shorthand notebook too there. But we had, in grade, or junior high, girls had to take shorthand and typing and home ec. So this is cool. 
This is actually from St. Paul. Excuse me, St. Paul. The University of Minnesota. 1945. This was 19... something. Thirty-two. Cool, cool. And I'll be using these. I love the little um, illustrations. I'm not sure what this is about. It's the professor of horticulture. That's right beyond the university farm is right behind this Minnesota State Fairgrounds. But I'm not... Oh, it's freezing. That's right. How to use your home freezer. So it's not... Oh, it is Marquette. I don't know where Marquette... I never heard of that one. But it's like recipes and... There's that Art Deco look again. Super cool. So I like to use these as like recipes or tips. I'm going to do a video or a, one of those photo sleep books all on household tips. And this is awesome. I can't remember. I don't think this has, has a date that I saw. But look at these awesome. This is probably from the 70s, maybe late 60s, probably late 60s, but I love the little illustration, all the little um, recipes, what is that, <clears throat> cool stuff. This is really cool, I couldn't figure out why they had this antenna, it's food for the body and for the soul. And it's recipes, and then it has, like, scriptures and, like, you know, people writing things, poems. And I asked Kirby, like, why do you think they have an antenna on here? Because it doesn't say anything about it. And he goes, oh, that's a radio tower, station tower. So then I'm like, oh, okay. So then and it was given to Elaine in appreciation for your first, for your year of leadership in the... Stevens Cradle Roll Mother's Club. So, then I saw Moody Press. And I've heard of Moody Press, Chicago. Then I saw Director of WMBI Home Hour, and I thought, that sounds like a radio show. So I looked it up. Sure enough, Moody Press is still around. It's a Christian, or not Moody Press, but Moody Radio is still around. And it's a Christian-based um, radio show. This is from 1943. So, it's really in great condition. Just really cool. But a lot of these poems are kind of cute. I love that illustration. Meat and soup. Very cool. I love her too. Here's the um, stenographer book. Her notebook. You had to go make two columns, and then without stopping, you just keep going. Shorthand was really hard to learn, but once you got, you know, it's kind of like sign language. Once you got the basics, you could understand it. Then when they, <clears throat> I didn't find this until she mentioned that it was a hoarder house. And I was like, oh, recipe cards, you know, because they usually have, they must have recipe cards too, I thought. So I go, well, do you have any recipe cards? She goes, oh, we got a million. Well, this is what they had. And it's okay. I kind of want to use it. I like the older, cuter recipe cards. But this was uh, the recipe collector. This was probably the 70s, just from the font and how old these are. But so then they had like 10 packs of the rubber, the rubber, the plastic sleeves that each had a pack of cards. So I bought three of those, thinking I could make little books myself. Um, but they're kind of cute. So these will be fun to throw in uh, um, one of my recipe books that I sell, my craft ones. Then, these uh, I want, I love this old tin. Um, because it's pretty, or attractive, and I love how they literally fold the tin like a box. 
So I'm either going to use these in my craft room to store stuff or make banana bread in it. These were 50 cents for both of them. Oh yeah, the books were all a quarter each. I mean, it was insane. This was free. And it's just a little... I did pinch my thumb though, or my finger. But it's just a little label maker. So I thought that was cute. And I gotta figure out how to put the label. Yeah, I don't know how... Oh, they're open. Oh, that's easy. Cool. So that's that. Here's the other cards. The um, plastic sleeves are kind of bent, so I've got them out on the deck. It's like about 90 degrees out there. It's just horrid. Um, and I put something heavy on top to flatten them out. Um, so that is it from the... Oh, no, wait. I was going to show you this. I don't think I showed this. This is from a sale last week. It had a bunch of rusty old nails in it. And I think this was a dollar. But it's an old Skippy, well, Skippy probably made it for Red All. Red All was a local store. I mean, we had one right a few blocks from our house. That's the only place my mom would shop, you know. You kind of get your favorite. So I thought that was awesome. But I'm betting it was the Skippy brand, because that's kind of what they're tops were. But anyways, it's a nice cool size. In really good condition. It's pretty grubby, but we got it cleaned up. So, there's that and there's my antique haul. Thanks for watching. Bye.